So it is April 2nd, 2022, and I'm going to do some frost seeding. We still have some snow on the ground, and you know, we still got cold temperatures, thus the hat. Um, but I'm just going to be taking my spreader for a walk. I've got some medium red clover here, and that's going to last about two years. Uh, but, uh, you know, I do like a little variety with my clover, so having a little red mixed in with the whites. I've got everlasting uh, white clover, and that is a perennial, so that'll keep coming back, and um, that, that seems to be a really good white clover. And then I also have some balanza clover, which would be an annual clover, so that's going to grow one year, but it's got a real good cold tolerance, and so we'll throw that in the mix. And so I'm going to spread it around my apple trees, and the benefit of doing that is it can provide some nitrogen um, as these clovers break down and die back into the soil which is a benefit for my apple trees as well provide more biodiversity and with the price of fertilizer this year especially nitrogen um, having some clover or some type of legume where we can get some nitrogen credits is a good thing as well and so you can do this on your other fields as well you know if I'm going to fall plant uh, I would generally say do an annual clover uh, for your frost seeding and then you come back and uh, either kill the clover or mow it short and get your fall plot in and get the benefit of some free nitrogen. And so how that works is these legumes, clovers in the legume family, so is alfalfa, soybeans and peas, and they can take the nitrogen that's in the air, our atmosphere's, the majority of the atmosphere is nitrogen, so they can pull that out of the air and put it into the plant on these bumps on the roots called nodules. But that's only if that bacteria is there. And so because of that, we don't need to put nitrogen on, on the clover when we're fertilizing. So that's going to save us some cost and it's going to put some nitrogen back into the soil. And so um, it's, it's a pretty simple process. You just spread it out. And, you know, depending on if you're overseeding an existing plot, you know, if you're overseeding an existing clover plot, then, you know, I generally cut the rate in about half of, of what uh, the clover says for uh, planting rate. But, uh, you know, if you're trying to start a new field in clover and you're frost seeding, I probably go about 125% above the recommended seeding rate. Uh, and, and it works well. You know, I've got some, some of my food plots here have been clover for boy, at least eight, nine years, and they've only been planted once, but every every couple of years or so, if it starts getting thin, I'll just go ahead and frost seed it. But yeah, that works best if you have, you know, the weeds under control. So, you know, if I had a brassic plot, and brassicas use a lot of nitrogen, I could throw this down because the, the brassicas, you know, aren't probably going to come back all that well the next year. They are a biannual, so, you know, by, by rights they can. Um, but I wouldn't want to be competing against a whole bunch of stuff and I sure don't want to be competing against weeds. So, you know, I, I do like to spread it on brassica plots, give a little more nitrogen back into the field as well. And again, you know, if it's a clover field that you plan on keeping for a while, then I'd go with a perennial and I still would do a blend. But if you're just looking at, you know, trying to have healthier soil and reduce your nitrogen costs, then I would go with more of a annual blend because you know they're designed to grow quicker and you don't you don't need the cost of the perennial if you're not going to keep it in that clover plot for several years to come so we'll get the seed poured and then we're going to go for a walk I do like this solo hard spreader because it does make it a lot easier to pour your seed or fertilizer in it as compared to the normal bag spreaders that tend to uh, you know, want to fall down and, and things like that. So, you know, this one I've had for probably three, four years, and I've been very happy with it so far. So that's the red clover. And here's the perennial white clover. And then the annual white clover. So 
So I want to go around about 12, 12 different apple tree planting areas that I have and um, probably get a um, top seed some of my existing clover as well. So we'll just get the lid on it, mix it up a little bit and then start spreading. So now we're by the apple trees and you can see we still have some snow here and uh, you know I don't mind frost seeding on some snow but the one thing is if you had a lot of elevation change you know I wouldn't suggest it just because as that snow melts you don't want your seeds running off but this is pretty flat ground so I think we're more than safe so we'll get some seed spread out. 